Chapter 16 Escape from Body Knowledge Questioner Maharaj, how can I escape? How can I escape from all this knowledge? I want liberation right now. Is there any exit from the mind, feelings, life, everything? Maharaj, of course, why not? You are and you have nothing to do with any of this. What you are talking about are simply layers on your spontaneous presence. Even though you're living in this body, you're completely separate from it all. You say, I want liberation right now. That's up to you. You want instant happiness like fast food. When you accept that you're not the body, all these feelings you talk about will disappear. These needs are orientated through the body. Who will be wanting happiness and peace when presence disappears? Happiness is already within you. You have the key, just like Alibaba's open sesame. The cave of jewels is there for the taking. I am nurturing your happiness and making it grow. The purpose of spirituality is to exit the body in a happy mood. Who is leading the bo leaving the body? Why? Don't take this literally. There's no point in applying the intellect when everything is spontaneous presence. I have to use words to convince you. You are unborn, immortal, immortal. We are removing all unwanted files from your hard drive. There are so many viruses inside, like fast-spreading bacteria. Meditation is your antivirus software. Once it is installed, it will last forever. No annual subscription. Questioner. This invisible presence that you talk of, is it love? Maharaj, you're in love with yourself. Love and affection started the moment the spirit clicked with the body. Prior to being this, there was no love and affection, nothing. All these terms came afterwards. This body is the dirtiest body, but covered with nice skin. What is inside? Machinery. All the machinery does its own job, heart, lungs, liver, with power supplied to each organ. If the spirit were not there for one second, the body will deteriorate. Therefore, you are wholly separate from this body. You are not the body, you are formless. So who is loving whom? You are just like sky or space. The word love came when your presence was limited to the body form. Love and affection are body-related terms relevant only to the body form. You are not in the body form, therefore there is nobody there to talk about love and affection. Questioner There is a lovely quote from Nizagadatta Maharaj that talks about wisdom and love. Maharaj, forget about what others say. It is what you say that is all important. This is the only thing that counts. I have told you that nobody is greater than you. If you're firm and have strong faith and involvement, you will be able to face the difficulties that keep coming. Spirituality is not about clapping hands and placing some garlands here and there. It is a framework for daily living. Watch the ego. It is always creating problems like, I am a spiritual man. There is no need of struggle or of jealousy because your presence is everywhere. Be calm and quiet and unconcerned with the world. When you are one with your devotion, you are one with your selfless self. This means your strength is coming out a kind of spiritual intoxication. But you are not to take any ego from this or misuse your power. You will see the progress. There will be total and complete inner silence. 
You are beyond this world. Sometimes you may fall victim to external circumstances via money, power or sex. Just remember that when the body expires, we will not be taking anything with us from this world. Great power will come from your devotion. Whatever you say will happen. Be sincere, true to yourself and be sincere with your master. I'm not expecting anything from you. I'm asking you to give complete devotion to yourself. My happiness comes from your spiritual progress. Shine. Be shining. And make others shine. Be happy and make others happy. And don't waste this exceptional knowledge. After having ultimate truth, you'll be happy and you will want to share that happiness with others. Don't be selfish. Share it out. Don't waste the delicious food. After consuming the food, if anything remains, you have to distribute it to all these people who are needy. At the same time, exercise caution. Watch out for people who are feeding your ego, saying, for example, you're a great man. You are not to ex expect or accept any body-related co concepts because everything is in you. There is nothing except selfless self. Nobody is greater than you. The entire universe is within you. Open truth.